Columbia Public Schools is reviewing recommendations about the return to learn in less than a month. A Columbia Teachers Union released a report today with advice on staying safe during the pandemic. ABC 17 Sydney Olson is live at the Aslan Administration Building. Sydney educators say they are worried about keeping themselves and their students safe. Lucas, I spoke with two members of the Columbia National Education Association about the report today. Now administrators are reviewing the best way to keep everyone inside the classroom safe and how to find the best way to teach outside of the classroom. In the report, the CMNEA suggests the school district push back in-person classes until after Labor Day at the earliest. Our MU students and our Stevens, our Columbia College students coming back to town, that is completely out of our control. And we already see that that age group is our biggest group, not only in Columbia, but in the state of Missouri. The report also emphasizes the importance of having the capability for all students to learn online if needed and recommends CPS purchase vetted online curriculum. It is a daunting task and I, we are worried that it won't get done and we are worried that maybe it will get done to get us going for a few months, but then what happens after that? The CMNEA president says it will be very easy for COVID cases to snowball in Columbia schools because it is a tight-knit community with many parents and teachers having kids in different schools. To help implement safety measures like social distancing, the group suggests educators teaching online take on larger classes to allow for smaller in-person classes. A spokesperson from CPS says the district is already aligned with some of the recommendations, including safety and technology. The second vice president of the association says the largest concern for teachers right now is safety for those in and out of the schools. Um, so we're worried about our kids. We're worried about our own families. We're worried about our spouses. Um, it's, it's, it's just a lot to put on the plates of the teachers when you think about the impact of, of, of COVID. That report released today covers a lot more like cleaning and sanitation and recommendations for families outside of school. You can find the full report on our website at abc17news.com. Reporting live in Columbia, Sydney Olson, ABC 17 News. Sydney, thank you. Susan Blackburn with the Columbia Board of Education says they look forward to continuing conversations about those recommendations at their next meeting on August 4th.